Alicia Keys, Jason Sudeikis, Chris Stapleton. Who's, who's Chris Stapleton? They all came to the same cybersecurity conference, along with Keanu Reeves, Bill Clinton, who came at parties that were around the conference. Yes, at a cybersecurity conference. I feel so cool right now. I'm talking about RSA conference in San Francisco, which is one of the largest cybersecurity conferences in the world, allegedly. In this video, I'll share with you all the cool new technology solutions that were announced at RSA conference. And towards the end, I'll share something even cooler than just some cool cybersecurity solution announcements. So all these things that you see on the screen are so 2023. I mean, don't get me wrong. They were definitely conversations about this on 2024, but so much has changed since 2023, even in the Gen AI space. In 2024, my dad knows how to use ChatGPT so I don't have to explain to him what Zero Trust is. Now that I think about it, it is a bit weird because he had Zero Trust in my choice of fashion as a career path. In this video, we are going to talk about all the newer terms that have been introduced in 2024 RSA conference. Don't worry, I would leave a link here for my 2023 edition, which has all these topics explained as well, so you would not be lost. Check it out once you finish watching this video. So the cool new announcements from 2024 RSA conference, ASPM, AISPM, yes, it's different to ASPM, AI security, non-human identity, and CNAP++. If listening or watching these cybersecurity new solution types are giving you a what the fudge moment, don't worry, I got you because in 2024, you would be hearing a lot more about this. So I want you to understand what these are, but in a simple lay term. Like for example, ASPM. Application Security Posture Manager. The quick version of this is a lot of us have a lot of applications that we work with in our environment, whether it's enterprise or small companies. There's not an easy way these days for you to get a context for a security of an entire application without looking at five or six different things. ASPM or Application Security Posture Manager is supposed to bring all the security parameters, capabilities, feeds, and everything that you can think of that's important for your application security, bringing that all together onto one viewpoint. Now, there's a lot more complex definition to it, but that is the simplest way to understand this. If you are in that application security space, ASPM is that new layer which allows you to bring your SaaS solution, your SCA solution, your DAS solution, and all of those into this one, dare I say it, dashboard. Inside cybersecurity joke, definitely everyone has been looking for that one dashboard that solves those problems, but here we are. ASPM is that solution which brings your application security posture across your organization from all your environments into one place. That is different to AISPM. Now, AISPM is the Artificial Intelligence Security Posture Manager. If you are using AI in your organization, whether it's your cloud environment or your NLM that you're making yourself, you're probably thinking about how do I know security and the posture of how secure is the deployment. That is a simple definition of AISPM, but there's a lot more complexity and nuance to the whole AISPM space, like security of AI, security using AI, security from AI, and a lot more, which I'll drop a video for in the next couple of weeks. So if you're subscribed to the channel, you probably get to hear it. In case that video comes before this, I will leave a link for that video here. Which also brings me to AI security. Now, there was a lot of announcements around how existing technology solutions are using AI capabilities to enhance. Now, when I talk about AI security, I specifically I'm talking about generative AI security, basically enhancements that people have brought into the existing cybersecurity solutions that have been further enhanced by using generative AI. Now, the reason I call generative AI because a lot of the earlier versions of AI like machine learning, classifiers, and a lot of the other versions have been out for a long time. But now at the RSA Conference 2024, there's specific focus on how existing cybersecurity solutions have started using AI technology to improve their behavior analysis, threat detection, and a lot more. Talking about threats, non-human identity was the next topic that was popular and that caught my attention. Non-human identities in this context, like username, password that you and I have used for years to log in into an application. These days, we are as humans use username, password, but turns out the machine users, the automated users have been using username and passwords as well. But those users are harder to track because once Ashish leaves the organization, you deprovision them. But when the number of non-human identities are way higher than the number of actual employees you have in an organization, that problem is quite complex. And adding on to the whole overtly permissive users, and if they are overtly permissive non-human users across multiple cloud environments, multiple environments in general, it makes it a lot more complex. So non-human identity challenge would definitely be coming up quite often in 2024. And finally, CNAP++. Now, CNAP++ is not a thing. I made it up. Because it sounds more comprehensive for how the CNAP market has changed. Like it's been two years since I made that video of first generation of CSPM. And I conclude that with CNAP being that encompassing everything before CSPM, CIEM, CWPP, and your infamous CNAP, which was supposed to bring Kubernetes, 
These days, CNAP is a lot more complex. It has edge security, network security, agent, agentless, Kubernetes, cloud native, AI, and integrations with SCA, SaaS. So it's doing wonderful the assessment as well. Definitely let me know in the comment if you would like me to cover this video in detail, because I think it is still required. I need to refresh the 2022 version. And finally, if you're disappointed by all the other AI announcements that you would have been curious about that you wanted a perspective on. We did a whole dedicated episode for AI security uh, and what the vibe was for AI security in general across RSA conference in a separate video for our sister channel called AI Cybersecurity Podcast. I'll leave a link for that as well here. Now, this is the time I talk about something which is cooler than just talking about cool new technology being announced, which is predicting what the next thing is going to be. Now, there were a few AI announcements that happened. AI, 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 AI. AI. I can't, however, tell you the name of the companies who the announcements were from. Ah, Now, these announcements open the door to something called SOAR++. Now, SOAR is a SOAR topic, but S-O-A-R or SOAR was the dream of many security operation analysts and professionals who dreamt of these automated actions that would automatically take action whenever a known threat was detected. Unfortunately, a lot of us only got to three or four use cases in our organization, and it kind of disappeared slowly. But thankfully, now we have Gen AI. So Generative AI has made this possible that now you have SOAR++. A lot of these announcements were specifically focusing on how do we increase productivity for security operation analysts because picture this, you are a SOC analyst, you're waking up at 3 a.m. and you have to start investigating an incident that has been raised as a high. The last thing you want to do is open up an application that you've never seen before, don't know what kind of technology is being used, don't have anyone you can reach out to at 3 a.m. in the morning trying to figure out what the application is about. Now that is something being solved using generative AI. Some of the announcements were able to help give information for the context of what the issue may have been. What are the possible root causes that people can look into that should help the security operation analyst investigate that further and perhaps save time and increase productivity to get to resolution for incident response quicker. Now that is a juicy topic that requires its own dedicated video because security operations, believe it or not, is going to be the first cybersecurity field that will be impacted by Gen AI in a very strong way. More impactful than what you are seeing in all the other AI announcements that have happened so far. And I have a whole video coming up for this. So if you are interested in doing that, make sure liking and subscribing to the social accounts of Cloud Security Podcast. So when the announcement comes out, you are the first one to hear it. But if you are someone who has attended RSA, did I miss anything? Leave that in the comment. I'll talk to you in the next episode. Peace. It sounds so different when you write it versus saying it. How funny. In this video, I'll share with you all the...